Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell was the first woman to earn a medical degree from a medical school in the United States of America. She had initially been repelled by the idea of studying medicine, but changed her mind after a close friend who was dying suggested that she would have been spared her worst suffering had her physician been a woman. Elizabeth attended Geneva Medical College in New York after being rejected at other medical schools. When she applied, the dean, hesitant to accept a woman, had asked the 150 male medical students to vote on the issue. If one student had voted no, Elizabeth would have been barred from admission. Apparently thinking it was a joke, the students voted unanimously to accept her, only to be surprised when she arrived at the school ready to begin her studies. Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell graduated in 1849 and went on to support medical education for women. She and her sister, Dr. Emily Blackwell, founded the New York Infirmary for Women and Children, where women who were denied internships elsewhere were able to expand their skills as physicians. Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell wrote several books addressing the issue of women in medicine, including Medicine as a Profession for Women and Pioneer Work in Opening the Medical Profession to Women. Dr. Ida Sophia Scudder Ida Scudder was born in India to American missionaries. Her father and grandfather were medical missionaries, and she was determined that she would not follow in their footsteps. Then, while visiting her parents in India after her graduation from Northfield Seminary in Massachusetts, she had a life-changing experience. In one night, three men had come separately to ask her to help their wives who were in labor. Ida could not help them due to her lack of medical training at the time, and due to the local customs, they would not allow her physician father to treat their wives. All three women died that night, essentially for lack of a female physician. Ida took this as a call from God and decided that she would become a doctor and returned to India to help the women of that country. She graduated from Cornell Medical College in 1899, part of the first class that accepted women. After graduation, on returning to India, she started roadside dispensaries, a nursing school, and eventually a medical school to train female doctors, now known as the Christian Medical College. By the way, the college started accepting men in 1947. Today, the Christian Medical College is ranked one of India's top medical schools and offers numerous courses in medical, nursing, and allied health professions. <music>